Okay, here is everything I'm going to be using. But first, I will start the scooter up because, well, I'll do that after actually because it'll make a noise. But the scooter basically needs to be warm so that the oil, the oil comes out properly. So here we've got a measuring jug. Um, according to the owner's guide, it should take seven to 800 milliliters of oil. This oil here, standard four stroke, it's for 40. Four stroke engine oil. This scooter is supposed to take 10W40. This is 10W30, so the 10 is the viscosity of the oil when it's cold. W30, so the 30 is the viscosity when it's hot. Generally you want a higher viscosity when it is summer and a lower viscosity when it's colder. But since New Zealand is so mild in climate, it shouldn't really matter at all. So this should work fine for my scooter since it's a four stroke. Um, so that's the oil, I'll measure it with that. I'll drain the oil into here and have to take it to the tip for disposal. This is air filter cleaner, I'll need to clean the air filter. And this is oil to put on the air filter once it's clean to help it pick up particles and crap like that. So the first thing I really need to do is find, probably need some of this stuff. I'll need to find the oil drain hole. Gosh, it's nice seeing my scooter so clean. So this is the oil filler thing, so that will need to come off to help the oil flow out, but I won't do that until the engine's been running a little bit. I'm guessing it's annoyingly. Okay, it appears According to this, that it's on this side, so it'll be that one there, and hopefully I've got a socket. So try this one. Yep, that's it. So I'll need to start and run the scooter for a little while. So I'll quickly do that. Okay, it should be warm enough now. So, issue is getting it to drain into this pan properly. It's going to come out of here. Uh, might make a bit of a mess. I wonder if I can just. Beautiful. But it'll be more beautiful if we take this off. Oh my god, there wasn't much in there. No. 
bikes. It's a bit of a worry. All right, let's go here. Oil, oil change, 700 mils. Okay, while that's doing a bit of draining, I think I might take the air filter off um, and start cleaning that. But first I need to go and get something to wash it in. So it's possibly going to be filled with all kinds of crap. Um, oh, it doesn't look too bad actually. It actually looks really good. I don't even know if it really needs to clean, but I will anyway while I've got it open. So. always pays to clean this out but it's actually very very clean aside from a spider that's gotten in there so I'll probably just leave that fucking gaskets are o-ring type things are actually not get left behind on here alright all right. So this is a solvent, so it's probably not the best for my skin, but oh well. So you should really soak these like, overnight. But I can't really be bothered with that and I didn't really think it would need it. So you gotta be pretty careful with foam filters. You're not supposed to wring them out. And then you're supposed to squeeze them. It's got the hair on it. They get rips or tears. All the dust and shit will go through the tear because it will have the highest pressure. Someone's here. Stuck in it. Maybe mine. So I used to wash it after this in clean water, but I don't know, it doesn't need to be that clean. I suppose I will anyway. We can go rinse. Alright, I'm gonna go give this a rinse. Alright, I gave that a pretty good rinse. Uh, hopefully it'll be enough. I think it needs to dry up before I put it back on. But I can do the other stuff in between, so I'll just let this sit somewhere and dry. It will do.
Okay. I think it's probably as much as what's going to come out. Doesn't feel very gritty, but it's obviously very dirty. Very, very dirty. Um, so, yeah. Needs more. So, I can't even remember what I did with the bolt. Oh, it fell in there. There it is. It just has a washer. There's no gasket on it. Probably doesn't need a gasket. But if I had to, I could make one out of like cardboard or something. I don't think it needs a gasket. Is it still stuck on there? No, don't see any gasket. Yes, it fell in. Which is always possible. So, I'll just finger tight so this here I think is the um, cooling fan filter oh yeah <laughs> That's pretty filthy. So I'll give it a little, little clean. Okay, now it's time to measure out some oil. So I'll put, I'll put 750 mils in. God, that's a lot of oil. Well, I trust the user's guide. So I may need to re-tighten that thing. Come on, please. Yes. Oops, oops, I'm a little bit fast. That seems like a lot of oil. No, it took it though. Yep. 
see if it's leaking up the other side. No. Yeah. Well, it said 700 mils, so 700 mils. All right, I think we're almost done. The air filter is still a bit wet, and I don't really want to oil it while it's wet. So I'm not sure what to do about that. And you don't want it sucking water into the frickin' thing. So now I just need to talk up the oil. Alright. So, you can actually recycle engine oil, but since I have this solvent crap to get rid of, I'm just going to put it all in one container. Yum. Delicious. sit on there now so crap doesn't get into it all right so made a bit of a mess but there's almost everything I just need to wait for the air filter to dry it's probably fine mm, and it's pretty damp I think I should let that dry yeah it needs to dry so I'll come back when this is dry. Okay. Haven't used this stuff before. No, oh, that's perfect. This stuff is probably not good for my hands. Okay, perfect. That should go sort of sticky and tacky. That's what you want because it will pick up all the nasty stuff. So I need to wash my hands real quick. What does this say? First day, skin, wash skin thoroughly with soap or water. Oh yeah, so it's fine to touch. Don't want to leave it on there probably. Right, I need to get this back on, so.
Where's guy? a pretty cool color So it probably didn't start first pot because all the extra oil on the air filter I needed to give it a little twist of the throttle for it to start once it's run for a little bit I think it should start without throttle um, and also possibly just due to, due to extra resistance from giving more oil in there particularly cold Oh, it's nerve-wracking but I'll let it idle for another couple of minutes um, then give it some gas then check the oil again yeah I really hope I didn't fuck anything up alright clean up time Yeah, you can try. and see if she starts with no throttle yep perfect I'll right, let the oil settle give it one last check but that won't be on camera I'm sure it'll be fine so job done tentatively um, the main test is to ride it. I guess I'll ride and take this um, hazardous crap to the tip, dump, landfill, whatever you call it. I've got a disposal facility there. Clean scooter, fresh oil, cleaned air filter, cleaned cooling fan filter, tyres inflated correctly, fueled up. So, yay. I'm pretty happy with that.